Good afternoon. For anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Mary Glowacki, AIA, the 2020 President of AIA Ohio, and I would like to call to order the AIA Ohio 2020 Annual Meeting. The link to the meeting materials was sent to you earlier via email, and Kate Brunswick is putting this link in the chat box for you to reference as well. The first item on our agenda is the Secretary's Report from Aaron Hill, AIA. Aaron? Thanks, Mary. I have verified that all seven components of AI Ohio are represented here today, and we do have a quorum. So I move for approval of the 86 AIA Ohio Annual Meeting Minutes, which were distributed in advance. May I have a second? I second the motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the 2019 Annual Meeting Minutes. Is there any discussion? Uh, please unmute your mics as we will hold this vote by verbal acclamation. All in favor of the motion to approve the 86 AIA Ohio Annual Meeting Minutes say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Any abstentions? Motion carries. Thank you. Now you can please mute your mics. Thank you. I would now like to hold a moment of silence for those involved in our profession who have passed away within this past year. We learned of the following individuals, all of whom are from Cleveland. Jack Allen Bylaski Sr., FAIA. Richard Fleshman, FAIA. George Gada, AIA. Donald Johnson, AIA. Nick Lesko, FAIA and Lori Turner, AIA. Please join me in a moment of silence, remembrance for these gentlemen. Thank you. I would now like to present the bylaw amendments. I chaired a task force this year that was charged with reviewing and updating the AI Ohio bylaws. These board approved bylaw amendments were sent out in advance of the meeting as required and were also included in the meeting materials that you should have received via email. The intent of the bylaws task force and the board in putting these forth is to have the bylaws more accurately reflect how AI Ohio operates and to allow AI Ohio more flexibility in operations in the future. The document called AI Ohio Bylaws Amendments Explanation outlines the reasoning behind each proposed amendment. AI National Legal Counsel Jay Stevens has reviewed the amendments and found them to be in compliance with the national bylaws. In the interest of time and given that members have had more than 30 days to review and provide comment on the proposed amendments, I move to accept the proposed bylaw amendments. May I have a second? Aaron, I'll second. Thank you, Bruce. We have a motion and a second to accept the proposed amendments. Please put your name in the chat box if you would like to verbally comment and be prepared to unmute your mic to make your comments as we call your name. We will be voting on this motion via electronic ballot. Kate Brunswick is emailing a link for the ballot to all AIA, AIA Ohio members who have been registered for this meeting right now. Check your email for the link coming to you from Kate. Email Kate, her email address is in the chat box if you do not receive the link. This ballot will remain open for you to cast your vote for until 3.20 p.m. today. Do we have any comments? Okay, hearing no comments, um, I would like to continue uh, with my president's report. Um, you can read it on, in its entirety in the annual report, which is on the AIA Ohio website in addition to being included in the email that you receive with the meeting materials. <clears throat> I just wanted to give you some highlights of the year. This year has been a very unusual year to say the least. 
I hosted the January Board of Directors meeting at the Black Swamp Curling Center in Bowling Green, Ohio. That was the first and last time that the board met in person for the entire year. In March, the COVID-19 pandemic hit us and we went virtual for the rest of the year. This included our state board meetings, local component meetings, our annual design awards, and then this annual meeting. We had no state or national convention this year, all due to the pandemic. But we did get things accomplished. We welcomed Bowling Green State University to the ranks of accredited schools of architecture in the state of Ohio, bringing the number up to five. We welcomed the name change of AIA Eastern Ohio to AIA Youngstown. In March, we also started the AIA Ohio COVID-19 task force that was able to coordinate in a quick manner in response to the pandemic. We also hosted the AIA Ohio Design for Safe School Charette to explore ways to keep Ohio's school children safe in the classroom during a pandemic. We might not have addressed some of the other issues that we had planned on this year, but we did address the ones that were critical at the moment. It has been an honor and privilege to serve AIA Ohio for the past several years and as the 2020 president. Next, I would like to present the 2020 presidential citations. The first two presidential citations are awarded to Rick Posey, AIA, and Sam Markham, AIA, for continuous leadership and hard work leading the AIA Ohio COVID-19 Task Force. Under their guidance and leadership, AIA Ohio was able to quickly coordinate a response to the COVID-19 pandemic. This citation is presented in recognition of your continued leadership, support, and advancement of the architectural profession. The next presidential citation is awarded to Eric Prose, AIA, for demonstrating leadership by planning, <coughs> excuse me, by planning and serving as chair for the AIA Ohio Design for Safe Schools Charette. Under his direction, AIA Ohio, AIA Ohio held the charette where teams explored ways to keep Ohio's school children safe in the classroom during a pandemic. This citation is presented in recognition of your continued leadership, support and advancement of the architectural profession and the community at large. Excuse me a second. The last presidential citation is awarded to Edward Glowacki, AIA, for providing support throughout the tenure of my years on the AIA Ohio board and as president of AIA Ohio. The citation is presented in recognition of your continued guidance, support and assistance. Congratulations to all of the citation recipients. I would also like to give a big thank you to Kate Brunswick, CAE Honorary AIA for all of her assistance during this pandemic year. I don't think that we would have survived without her, without her help and the help of, from Shadley Pittman Granger. Thank you to both of you. A big thank you also goes out to all of the members serving on the 2020 AIA Ohio Board of Directors and to all of the members of AIA Ohio for being patient during this pandemic year. Next is a treasurer's report from John Orsini, AIA. John? Thanks, Mary. Uh, my written report outlining AIA Ohio's financial position was distributed in advance. It also included the board approved 2021-2022 budget for consideration today. The budget was developed by the, the, by the Financial Advisory Committee and received the full support of the board. It includes additional revenue and expense items for yet to be determined programming that will be provided by AIA Ohio in response to the COVID-19 pandemic and how it has and will continue to impact AIA Ohio's operations. The board agreed not to implement the cost of living increase on membership dues for 2021. On behalf of the AIA Ohio Financial Advisory Committee, 
I move to accept the proposed 2021-2022 budget. I second the motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second to accept the proposed 2021-2022 budget. Is there any discussion? Okay, please unmute your mics. We'll hold this vote by verbal acclamation. All in favor of the motion to accept the proposed 2021-2022 budget, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Please mute your mics. Next, we have the nominating committee report by John Kelleher, AIA. John? Uh, thanks, Mary. Uh, the nominating committee this year consisted of myself, Mary Golowaki, AIA, and Julie Sabarin, AIA. We are pleased to put forth the following slate of officers for 2021. President, Karen Planet, AIA from Dayton. President elect, Aaron Hill, AIA from Cleveland. Treasurer, John Arsini, AIA from Youngstown. And your, your new secretary would be John Megan, AIA from Columbus. I move to elect the slate of offers, uh, officers as presented. I second the motion. We have a motion and a second to elect the proposed slate of officers. Is there any discussion? Uh, please unmute your mic. We'll hold this vote by verbal acclamation. All in favor of the motion to elect the slate of officers, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Again, please mute your mics. We will now hear from Bruce Tannock, FAIA, President of the AIA Ohio uh, thank you, Foundation. Mary. The AIA, AIA Ohio MAR citation is given to recognize individuals who have contributed $1,000 to the AIA Ohio Foundation. This year, there are six MAR citations that are going to be given on behalf of AIA Ohio components. Uh, with that, I do want to note that one of the recipients, uh, Jenny Becker, from Becker Impressions is not listed in our annual report. We will correct that, but she is in the video. Let's watch the video now. The AA Ohio Foundation recognizes individuals who finance support the AA Ohio Foundation in its scholarship for architecture. This year's stations will be put to individual donations. Jenny Becker Impressions is receiving the AIA Ohio Mar site this year. AIA has been lucky for this Becker Impressions' long-standing support by AIA to the school design petition. Congratulations, Jenny. Stephanie Gu AIA received a citation for a donation in her name by AIA. Youngstown would like to thank Stephanie for her work in 20. Has received a mission courtesy of a donation team made by AIA Toledo. AIA would like to thank Craig Bisner as president in 20. Vala AIA is receiving his ID to read his name by AIA. AIA was grateful for shipping for architect in Columbia. Jody Vanderweel AIA is receiving a citation through a donation made by AIA Cleveland in her name. AIA Cleveland with its leadership and dedication 2020 present. AIA is receiving this day through a donation made by AIA Cincinnati in her name. AIA Cincinnati is grateful for Cynthia's steady guidance as 2020 A Cincinnati president. Thank you very much to AIA and the generous donations to the AIA Ohio Foundation made in your names. Back to you, Mary. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Um, Kate, I know it's, it's almost 3.20. Do you have the results of the uh, voting? I do have I do have the results of the voting. Um, I'm making one double check, Mary. Um, everybody give me five seconds. Don't you hate it when you have to do math? <laughs> In my head when everybody really wants to hear this design speaker. Um, yeah, okay, I just wanted to confirm. The uh, proposed, the bylaw, um, bylaws amendment proposed passed. Okay, thank you, Kate. 
Um, thank you, Kate, for that. And thanks to all of you. Um, the business of the 87th AIA Ohio annual meeting is now concluded. Do we need a motion to adjourn the meeting, Kate? So moved. Second. 